Today we will see about IPO examination uh, answer key 2023 paper 2 and uh, this is a set A. A, dis a short disclaimer is that this is not the departmental key. This is for information and knowledge sake only. The departmental key will be final. And uh, the first question uh, given here is a uh, service discharge benefit scheme was introduced uh, based on the recommendations of the committee headed by the answer is uh, MS uh, Mr. R.S. Natarajamurthy committee. And this is as per the SDBS rules, uh, rule number 6-11-2009 uh, PE dated 1 2011 Here you find the SDBS rules. Uh, there are some few more questions on SDBS I, uh, rules. I will just say SDBS rules. That means this number. For the purpose of SDBS, the oversight office is, it is the Office of Director General. Uh, rule number 2Q, SDBS rules. Okay. And... Uh, here uh, you should understand that it will take uh, some uh, some more time for uh, uh, creating such videos uh, which are uh, which are useful for the, uh, the ipo examination and uh, it is not that easy to share the uh, rule numbers uh, as i am sharing it now okay kindly understand and in case of sdbs uh, if uh, gds dies while in service uh, the nominee will have an option to receive the entire accumulations as some lump sum. B. Nominee can continue to be enrolled under scheme uh, if they desire so. Either A or B. So here uh, none of them. The answer is either A or B. That means uh, they, they can have the op option to accumulate and uh, accumulate, have the accumulations or as well as enroll in another scheme. And if the digital uh, PRAN card is lost by the GDS, then uh, the duplicate card will be issued a uh, paying fee of uh, 20 rupees uh, on first occasion and 30 rupees for the subsequent occasions. This is as per rule 8 of uh, SDBS rules. And if an application of, for, for communication uh, of pension is uh, received by head of office after one year of uh, date of retirement, he shall inform the applicant that uh, he is uh, eligible to commute pension. He is not able to commute pension without medical examination. He was able to apply as a uh, apply afresh in uh, form A or form two. The answer is uh, here. The uh, he has to apply afresh in form two is correct, and he has not. Uh, he shall not be able to commute the pension without medical examination. In such a case, uh, if he has not applied, uh, uh, if he has applied after one year, so the answer is uh, two and four are correct. Okay as per rule 132 of commutation of pension rules 1981 so many questions have been given from commutation of pension rules for an applicant who is uh, entitled to commute his uh, commute uh, his pension after medical examination the fee for medical examination will be borne by it is by the applicant himself and uh, rule 23 of commutation of rules 1981 normally the commutation will go uh, one has to apply within one year and after one year medical examination is compulsory whenever he applies uh, after one year the applicant has to bear the medical fee those government servants who retire on or of after uh, 1996 shall be en entitled to commute uh, for lump sum payment up to 40% of his pension. That is the rule 5 of chapter 7, GID 2, commutation rules 1981. Where period of 15 years of retirement is already over before 148, uh, 1985, in those cases, commuted pension will be restored from, it is from 141985, that is chapter 2, 10A, GID 2, commutation of pension rules uh, 1981. Which of the following uh, rule of CCS commutation of pension rules 1981 provides for retrospective revision of final pension? It is uh, rule 10. Rule 10 uh, provides for the uh, retrospective pension. Okay. And no application for commutation of pension shall be entertained uh, if the period is dashed from the date of superannuation. It is, uh, it is three, less than 3 months from the date of superannuation as per 13.3 of commutation of pension and uh, next one is uh, which of the period uh, which of the period mentioned below tre is treated as duty the answer is uh, all of the above the period of training before appointment uh, to group c uh, and group d join joining time attending uh, departmental examination all of these are uh, treated as duty and it is as per uh, 
FR9, Government of India Decision 18, uh, FR 1962, and Government of India Decision 18 under FR 9, uh, FRSR Part 1. From when will all kinds of leave, excluding extraordinary leave, will be uh, leave without medical certificate count for increment? It is uh, from 2210-1963. This is a uh, rule FR 26C and uh, 73 under uh, FR 26C, and there is a Government of India Decision also here. Who is the competent authority to grant uh, advance increment? It is uh, the authority competent to create a post or a permanent or temporary as per FR 27.4. And uh, what are the elements to be taken into account for purpose of assessment of license fee for the government uh, residence? It is uh, sanitary fittings is correct, uh, water supply is correct, electric installations and fitting is also correct. So all of the above as per FR 45A2. When a flat rate license fee introduced for residential accommodation all over the country, it is 17-1987 as per FR 45A GID 1A. If a suspended official eligible for license fee free concession during the period of suspension, the license fee concession ceases from the date of suspension. So, from that date, uh, that will be suspended. So, it is as per FR 53 and GI. MFOM number so and so in 1996. Okay. Who has the right to retire a government servant in public interest by giving him a notice of less than three months? It is a FR 56J, the appropriate authority as per rule. It is written like that. What is the time limit within which an alteration of date of birth can be made? It is five years from the date of entry into service as per FR 56, Government of India edition 1612-2014. Joining time may be combined with the following except it is uh, casual leave, it cannot be combined with casual leave. Rule uh, 6 2 of CCS joining time rules indicate the rule under which the government servant may require to subscribe to provident fund. It is FR 16, according to FR 16, you may have to subscribe for provident fund. Lean means uh, dash of a government servant to hold a post to which uh, he has been appointed on a regular basis. It is the title as per FR 9. Government of India decision 13 also specifies so. A government servant dies while under suspension before proceeding are concluded. How will the period of uh, suspension be treated and the pay and allowances regulated? It is the entire period as duty treated as duty and the allowances, full pay and allowances will be paid as per FR 54B1. Substantive pay does not include. It is. Uh, it does not include all of these. That is a special pay, personal pay, and emoluments, as per FR 928 and FRSR. So many questions have been given. Which fundamental rule imposes a strict on on a government servant whose duties involve uh, carrying out scientific or technical research from applying for a patient? Uh, sorry, from for a patent for an invention made by him. It is uh, FR 48A. The salary of government servant who is uh, in foreign service is paid from, it is paid from the foreign employer with the sanction of the government as per FR 9.7. Who has the power to condone unauthorized absence under uh, FR 17A? It is the appointing authority. Uh, do, there are DGPT instructions in FR 17A also. And uh, the amount of financial assistance uh, Given in cases of natural calamities, fire and floods and a department employee, it is uh, 4,500. As per this 20-9-2017 uh, WL and SP dated 18-9-2020 uh, in the DE number 2. And for GDS, it will is 5,000. Don't get confused with 5,000. It is uh, for a departmental employee, it is only 4,500. For GDS, it is 5,000. What is the prescribed amount of non-recurring grant to start a crutch? It is uh, 6,000 and uh, additional points that you have, it, it is available in the annual report 21-22 also and even in establishment uh, in the welfare measures also you can find DE9A, non-recurring uh, uh, will be 20,000 every 3 years and uh, a recurring grant for 1,500 per child per month will be given subject to a maximum of 38,000 but uh, to start the crutch means it is 60,000. Okay. What is the maximum amount of grant that can be sanctioned to set up a recreation club? It is 25,000 as per this uh, 189-2020 order. 
what is the amount of financial assistance given to departmental employee basic pay up to 65200 for an excursion uh, excursion trip uh, four to five days in uh, per 700 kilometers it is uh, 60% of the railway cost fare will be given uh, the same welfare ruling 18920 the gds is eligible for loan on maximum of dash occasions in his entire career if all other conditions are fulfilled it is the uh, two occasions only it will be given as per this uh, GDS repayable loan for uh, you will find the in the 18-9-2020 order. Uh, welfare measures if you type in Google for GDS and uh, departmental employee you will get the document. What is the minimum length of service required for a GDS suffering from TB and get financial assistance for nutritional diet? It is 6 years. Minimum length of service should be there. Which are the repayable loans available for GDS? The answer is uh, uh, both A and B. Uh, purchase of computer and laptop is allowed my motorcycle and moped also they can purchase as per gds repayable loan 2 and 3 uh, points in the same letter 18920 cea for divyang children of a government employee is payable at a double the normal rate of cea this is the order cop, uh, ruling copy for cea the upper age limit of divyang children it is 22 years this is the ruling copy 2m under 2m Revised rates and procedures for CE are applicable with effect from 1-7-2017. Uh, More number of dates have been asked in this question paper. Uh, as per rule 3, it is like that. And form ACG2 is used for TCB. And uh, this you can find in FHB volume 2, appendix 4 and many other uh, places also you can find it. Volume 6, part 3 also you may find. GDS BOs doing savings bank work can be authorized to pay. It is the only pension they have given pension gratuity live and cashment only a and b it is uh, derived from uh, fhb volume 2 old version in the new version it is not available under the note 1 below rule 87 it is available in fhb volume 2 in old version and swami publishers you can see it and uh, cash abstract uh, kept uh, by the uh, head record office does not contain it is uh, it contains everything so none of the above 61 of FHB 2 new one and in 70 all in old one also uh, rule number 70 it comes when a government servant applies for a kind specific kind of leave the leave sanctioning authority does not have the power to sanction refuse revoke alter it is altered they cannot alter they can sanction either they can sanction or they can refuse or they can revoke also as per rule leave rules so 7.2 they cannot alter they cannot change it that means if they ask for EL, they, we cannot give HPL like that. How will the leave uh, granted to the female government servant in connection with the uh, inquiry of sexual harassment uh, uh, be treated? It is uh, as per rule 48 of CCS leave rules, it will not be debited to the leave account. Okay. Absence by government servant after expiry of leave uh, shall be debited to his leave account uh, as a dash to the extent uh, such leave is due. Whenever there is uh, absence of government servant after expiry of leave, our style of leave we call, then uh, it will be uh, debited from the HPL. If that is also not available, EOL is uh, 21, uh, 25 one CCS leave rules. If a government servant is uh, uh, here, the rule regarding uh, uh, the uh, 41st question I have given here, Gazette notification. And if the government servant is dismissed on 29th uh, uh, September, how many days of LEL is admissible to him for the heart for that half year on the date of dismissal? This is uh, five years, five days, sorry, five days, uh, rule 27.2b. That means uh, he is uh, dismissed in the September month of the September. So that month, uh, uh, two and a half days will not be counted for EL. Uh, previous two months July and August it will be two and a half two and a half five days it will come to and uh, if it is a death uh, the September month also will be counted and uh, three two and a half it comes to seven and a half and it uh, rounded off to eight if it is death but here it is dismissed so that month will not be added what will be the effect if a government servant remains absent uh, for a continuous period exceeding five years uh, other than the foreign service without valid reasons without valid reasons if you go on leave beyond five years it is deemed to have resigned from service as per 12.2 of ccs leave rules so many leave rules questions also they have given leave account of a gusted government servant shall be maintained by 
it is maintained by the audit officer as per uh, 13 or 15 of ccs leave rules the leave sanctioning authority may waive uh, the production of medical certificate in case of an application for leave on medical grounds uh, the period of leave applied for is less than it is less than if it is less than 3 days he can waive it 196 of leave rules a gestured government servant who is a CGHS beneficiary is required to submit a medical certificate for a grant of leave on medical grounds uh, issued by the doctor in CGHS uh, dispensary, Rule 19.1.1 of CCS leave rules. What is the time limit for commutation of uh, one kind of leave into another uh, while joining duty? It is 30 days. And uh, ten, Rule 10.1 of CCS leave rules. What is the leave not due granted without a medical certificate? It is as per 43B3B of uh, leave rules. It is uh, in continuation of child adoption leave. It is uh, allowed without uh, medical certificate. Uh, LND can be given. Mention the date from which encashment uh, of EL and HPL to the government servant or retired government servant came into effect. It is from 1 1 2006. Here you can find the DOPT ruling uh, OM number 14028 oblique 3 oblique 2008 uh, ESTTL dated. 16-11-2009 if you type the same thing in google you will get it what is the kind of leave that cannot be included in a leave preparatory to retirement uh, granted to the government servant it is uh, eol eol is not included in leave preparatory retirement 38 one note in ccs leave rules if two spells of eol is uh, intervened by a leave of another kind how will it be treated for the purpose of maximum limit for the purpose of maximum limit, it will be treated as one continuous spell as per uh, Rule 32.5 of CCS leave rules. What is the maximum period of service required for sanction of study leave? It is uh, 5 years service is required. Rule 55.1 of CCS leave rules. Indicate the rule for recall uh, to duty before expiry of leave. Before expiry of leave, we can recall. The competent uh, leave sanctioning authority can recall that as per Rule 23. Of CCS leave rules. A government servant on committed leave is entitled to which one of the following percentage of uh, pay drawn before commencement of leave as leave salary. It is 100% committed leave means total percent we will get 44 of uh, CCS leave rules. As per GFR 23, the financial powers of government uh, which have not been delegated to subordinate, subordinate authority shall vest with uh, it is the financial ministry, finance ministry as per GFR 23. Procedure for communication of financial sanctions and orders is explained in GFR 29. What is the amount uh, which HOC may sanction as refunds of advertisement charges? It is uh, up to 2000 only in each case. Uh, 13A in schedule of financial powers of HOC you can find. How many days notice is to be given to the appellants uh, for the presence before CIC? It is a uh, 7 days notice as per rule 12.1 of uh, RTI rules 2012. DD check IPO should be drawn in the name of DASH uh, for payment of fee under RTI Act. The accounts officer of the public authority, uh, it should be drawn in favor of and 6B of uh, RTI rules 2012. And state the name of the court uh, which shall entertain any suit application or other proceedings in respect of any order made by RTI Act. It is uh, no court. No court can uh, entertain any suit or application or proceedings in respect of RTI Act 23 of uh, RTI Act 2005 uh, under the subject uh, bar of jurisdiction of court it will be written. RTI week is celebrated every year uh, from 5th, of, 5th to 12th of October RTI 26 under GOI edition 2. Deemed refusal under RTI Act is uh, it is a failure to provide information by the PIO within stipulated time as per uh, Rule 7.2 of RTI Act. Which section deals with the uh, severability of RTI Act? It is Section 10. Okay, That means uh, uh, giving part information whenever there is an information that cannot be uh, given and uh, if there is some, some information in the information that cannot be given. Uh, which can be given in such a case uh, some part can be given that is called uh, part of part of information can be given is section 10 it is called severability 
what is the time limit of disposing rti application regarding relating to allegation of corruption it is a time period for transfer of application to other uh, public authority for uh, request for of information under section 63 of rti act it is 5 days rti uh, 63 of rti act and as per csma rules uh, medical attendant rules uh, testing of eyesight for glances uh, as at recognized hospitals by specialists is permissible uh, once in 3 years uh, five of gi decision dated 18657 as per csma rules uh, replacement of hearing aids is permissible after 5 years uh, 8 of gi decision number 10 Okay. As per CSMA rules, uh, for outdoor treatment, advance is permissible only if the total estimates, including tests, invest investigation, is more than it is ten thousand. And eight of GOI edition dated seventeen ten two thousand sixteen. In Swami Publishers uh, Handbook, also you will find it a uh, straight question. Which rule of uh, Postal Manual Volume Two prohibits uh, expectorating about uh, the floor or any other part of the office building? It is uh, Rule Six Sixty. Expectorating means uh, cough and spitting, smoking in the office, and expectorating about the floor or any other part of the building are strictly prohibited. And the supervisor has to ensure all these things. The postmaster, it is said in Volume Two of uh, Postal Manual, Volume Two, under Rule Six Sixty. Which of the following is not a part of dead stock? That is uh, perishable articles. Dead stock means plant and machinery and uh, furniture and fixtures. They are called dead stock. As per two sixty nine B of Volume Two, what is the entitlement of LTC to hometown uh, to unmarried government servants? It is every year, and uh, this is eight uh, of uh, Government of India decision dated three four eighty six and twenty one four two thousand fifteen. Can in all India LTC be availed in combination with the uh, transfer or a tour? Yes, it can be. And uh, GI nine below Rule seven of LTC rules and Government of India edition seven two two thousand seven. All the are the incidental uh, expenses incurred during LTC admissible for reimbursement, not reimbursable for not admissible for reimbursement as per Rule thirteen of CCS LTC rules. Incidental charges they will not be paid. Only. Uh, Travelling charges. What is the time limit uh, to claim reimbursement of expenditure incurred under LTC when no advance is uh, drawn? It is uh, within three months. Rule fourteen of uh, CCS LTC rules. What is the time limit fixed for drawal of advance uh, for journey by train when levelling L LTC? It is one twenty five days of period uh, or date of outward journey. One twenty five days before the proposed date of outward journey for train. Okay. And uh, Rule 15 of us uh, LTC rules. Whether as step parents are included in the definition of family for the purpose of LTC, yes, but uh, wholly dependent. They should be wholly dependent, and wholly dependent as step parents are included. Rule 4 of uh, GOI Edition 23/9/2008. <laughs> How many days of leave uh, encashed at the time of LTC be deducted from the maximum amount of EL uh, encashable at the time of retirement? No deduction will be made. And the Rule 15 of LTC Rules, Government of India Edition 23/9/2018. <laughs> Which of the following is not included for encashment of EL on LTC? It is the house rent allowance. Remaining things are given. This is a grade pay is old one. However, Rule 38A3 of CCS Leave Rules, and this is GI Edition on 23/9/2008. <laughs> Which of the following is admissible to unmarried government servants under a special dispensation scheme? Under special dispensation scheme. Converting one occasion of H uh, hometown LTC out of four uh, HT LTC to travel to the different parts of the country, this is allowed. And uh, rule as per Rule Eight uh, of this uh, Memo Number Twenty Four Four Two Thousand Fifteen. Whether LTC is allowed to government employees while on study leave? Yes, it is allowed under Seven of GI Edition Thirty Three, Nineteen Eighty Eight. The block to which the LTC is to be debited is decided from which of the following? It is uh, Rule Nine uh, LTC. It is date of outward journey. Which special uh, facility is available to single handicapped employee with regard to LTC? It is escort. LTC is admissible to the escort subject to the condition. And Rule uh, LTC Rules Seven uh, will be there. There is a GI edition also Seven under Nineteen. You will find this. 
which of the following rule of ltc discusses genuineness of the claim it is the rule 16 the facility of ltc air to government servants posted in ladakh is given during it is uh, 15th november and 15th march rule 12 of gi edition ltc what is the maximum service required for uh, availing ltc it is one year's continuous service uh, on the date of journey and what is the rate of penal interest over the interest rate of GPF in case of unutilized balance LTC advance recovered from the official? It is 2%. Uh, rule 15 of LTC GOD 6. The subscriber of GPF can change the nomination even after retirement so long as, as the entire amount of the uh, credit remains unpaid and it retains the character of a provident fund as per GOID 3 below rule 5 of GPF rules. Every nomination or notice of cancellation of it given by GPF subscriber takes effect from the date it is received by the accounts officer as per rules 5-7 of GPF rules. The amount of GPF subscription so fixed may be dashed during the course of year. It is It can be enhanced twice and reduced uh, once as per uh, rule 8-4 of GPF rules. Uh, in Swami handbook it is directly available. No temporary advance to be sanctioned uh, to GPF subscriber in the last dash of the service. It is uh, three last three months of the service. GOID 12 of rule uh, uh, 12 GPF rules. Part final withdrawal for purchase of motor car, motor vehicle, motorcycle, scooter, etc. is allowed to the to those subscribers of G, GPF uh, who has completed dash years. It is 10 years, 15 one year, and GOID 1 of uh, GPF rules. As per FHB volume 1, uh, if the government servant is unable to state its exact date of birth uh, but can state only the year, dash may be treated as his uh, date of birth. It is uh, rule 208A of FHB 1, it is July 1st, it will be taken. Which of the following is correct in case of service book of a government uh, servant? It is maintained in duplicate, correct? Aadhaar number must be entered, correct? HBA, uh, CGHS and LTC details are entered, correct? So, all of the above. Or uh, 209 of FHB 1, new one. And the descriptive particulars of a uh, first uh, on the first page of service uh, government service government servants uh, service book shall be reestested every five years. 212 F of FHB 1 new. Rule 301 of FHB 1 uh, is about uh, it is about uh, absentee statement. And uh, it is uh, 223 in uh, in new one, it is a uh, 223 and establishment register uh, is 103 or uh, 301 of FHB volume 1 old one this absentee statement in new one uh, it is 223 and establishment registry is 205 to 206 contingent registry is 263 to 2, 265 in new one I am telling leave rules it is 204 14 from GA or uh, 14 are used for it is for preparing uh, TA allowance bills and uh, rule 229 FHB 1 new one refunds of uh, revenue are broadly classified as as a refunds to which uh, the claimants are legally entitled refunds uh, which are made uh, ex gratia the answer is both A and B are correct as per uh, 281 of FHB volume 1 new the advance of pay should be recovered from the pay of the government servant in not more than uh, dash equal monthly installments it is three months uh, monthly installments as per uh, old one fhb1 404 fhb1 old central government servants who proceed on leave may paid uh, may be paid up to one month uh, a month's salary as advance uh, no advance uh, if leave taken is less than 30 days 42 of leave rules 414a of fhb1 old, old one Natural calamity advance to be booked under the detailed head, uh, it is salaries and GID 1 of 417A of FHB volume 1. However, now natural calamity advance, uh, it has been discontinued. This salary of advance also discontinued. Which of the following is not correct with reference to flood advance? This is the application is, is in the form 9, that is correct. Interest free advance, that is correct. It is payable uh, in 36 equal monthly installment that is wrong 25 equal monthly installments as per uh, 417A7 of FHB volume 1 old so these are the instructions and where you can get this order also you can see it also depends if the concerned state government has declared the areas having been affected by natural calamity that is also correct 
So the answer is C. C is the answer. Here it should have been 25. It is given 36. And actually, this is also from old uh, flood advance. Now it has been discontinued as per 7th CPC. Non-recoverable expenditure incurred on repairs to rented building to be debited to which it detailed head. It is uh, office expenses. Note 1 below rule uh, 298 of FHB volume 1 new. Okay. Which of the following is correct in, uh, in case of advance pay? The answer is advance of pay is not admissible uh, in mutual transfer case, correct? No advance or pay is in case of temporary transfer. In temporary transfer and mutual transfer, it is not allowed. So the answer is both A and B is correct. The answer is C. Okay. GID 12 below rule uh, 409 of FHB 107. To decide the level of investigating uh, authority, the amount of fraud includes uh, it is uh, it includes the principal amount of loss and fraud and mis temporary misappropriation here this is the om given and uh, in that om uh, om number 8-1 oblique 2009 INV dated 2329 2021 uh, below the para 2 you can find it wherein uh, they have given the what are the li limits of uh, investigation for each officer ipo sdh uh, uh, dh and all what is the financial power of a divisional head to purchase finance, furniture and fittings for a divisional office? It is 30,000. Schedule 3, 2D of uh, financial powers of uh, DH. A permanent uh, traveling allowance may not be uh, drawn during leave, temporary transfer, joining time, all of the above. Answer is D. FRSR part 2, SR 23. When a government servant has been deputed on training within India to an uh, institute, uh, where boarding and lodging facilities exist and training period does not exceed 180 days, full DA admissible for the first 30 days and half DA for the next 150 days, GID 4 under SR 164 of FRSR Part 2. As per SR 2, which of the following uh, does not fall under the category of family? It is stepfather, SR 2. In case of employee he was asked to proceed to some other station for second medical opinion, he is entitled to TA and DA for a maximum of 2 days, GID 4 under Rule 162 of FRSR Part 2. Which of the following is not correct in case of uh, travel entitlements to rail accommodation? It is uh, 14 and above AC 1 is correct, 12 and 13 it is AC 2 given but it is AC 1. Okay, So the answer is uh, B and uh, remaining things are correct. GID 1 below Rule 34 of FRSR Part 2 TA Rules. CGGIS 1980 is compulsory for all employees who entered the service after 1st November 1980. Uh, rule 41 of CGGIS Rules. If an employee dies during the month before recovery of CGGIS subscription for that month, uh, here it will remain uncovered. It will be rec recovered from the benefits payable. So it will be recovered from the amount benefits already payable. Uh, that month also 9.4 of CGGS rules. CGGS 1980 came into effect. Uh, it effect from the forenoon of from the forenoon of first January 1982 as per rule one of CGGS. In case of CGGS 1980, which of the following is incorrect? Withdrawals and loans advances is permissible from the funds. That is incorrect. Remaining things are correct. Government dues cannot be adjusted against the due payment as per 21.2 income tax. Uh, is uh, admissible that is correct De benefits are payable only to the account of after the death or re retirement that is also correct the working of cggas will be reviewed every dash years to ensure the scheme remains uh, self financing and self supporting it is every 3 years rule 22.2 of cggas review of scheme under in cggas form 7 and form 8 is for it is for nomination both forms are for nominations cggas rules 1980 a demand for goods should not be divided into small quantities to make a piecemeal purchases to avoid obtaining the sanction of higher authority as per GFR 157. Please elaborate uh, CPPP. The answer is the Central Public Procurement Portal as per 159.1 of rule uh, uh, GFR. Limited tender inquiry method uh, is adopted is adopted when uh, estimated value of goods uh, to be procured is up to as per rule 162.1 of GFR 2017, it is 25 lakhs up to 25 lakhs. Limited tender inquiry will be gone. You will go for limited inquiry. Which of the following rule uh, provide for 
a purchase of goods without quotation it is gfr 154 as for gfr 168 chapter 6 of contents uh, uh, contents of bid documents is it is contract form they are asking about chapter 6 this is important they have given underline you will get confused In instructions to bidders is chapter 1 In condition of uh, contract is chapter 2 contract form is chapter 6 schedule of requirement is chapter 3 quality of uh, cost based selection is used for procurement of consultancy services 192 gfr what is the preservation period of office copies of last pay certificates as for FHB volume 1 appendix 5 and annex A serial number 10 uh, it is uh, 3 years and uh, what are the following falls under the permanent record category it is uh, register of destruct, uh, destruction of records is a permanent record file index register is 10 years and uh, uh, head office summary treasury passbooks they are not uh, permanent records and they have their own period of preservation loose leaf uh, ledgers in the form of acc 69 are maintained as a register for it is for lands and buildings as per fhb volume 1 484 rule the date on which ccs leave rules 1972 came into effect it is 1st june 1972 rule 1 of ccs leave rules combination of study leave with year and leave uh, shall not generally involve a total absence of more than 28 months for that matter not only EL any kind of leave a combination of study leave uh, uh, not beyond 28 months it is allowed 54 2 of uh, leave rules an application for leave uh, under CCS leave rules has to be made in in the form 1 or uh, rule 14 of uh, leave rules which are the following feature of uh, tier 2 NPS account is not for correct account is not correct it is uh, tax benefits on contributing gains uh, it will not uh, no tax tax benefits are there for nps and it requires active tire 2 account and uh, unrestricted withdrawal is allowed and it is an optional account these three are correct and uh, how many spells of children child care leave can be allowed to female government servant in calendar year it is three spells as per 43 c 3 1 of leave rules how many NPA, how many times withdrawal is allowed uh, under NPS in the entire duration of service? It is three, three times and 8C of uh, PFRDA 2015 NPS rules. One way switch feature in an NPS account allows transfer of funds uh, from tire 2 to tire 1. What is the financial power of HOC in uh, in case of non-recurring repairs and alternate alterations of hired buildings? It is fifty thousand per annum. Rule nineteen D A Schedule two A. How many digits are there in Pran? It is twelve. What is the full form of PFRDA? It is Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority. In case of NPS, which of the following is incorrect? It is POP. POP means uh, point of payment. It is written here, but the answer is a uh, point of presence remaining things are correct what is the composition of pfrda it is uh, a chairperson three whole time members and three part time members put together six plus one pfrda uh, section four the nps subscriber shall be permitted to withdraw accumulations and not exceeding 25 percent of the contributions made by him or her and standing to the his credit uh, or his individual pension account as on date of application rule eight of uh, pfrda 2015 appointment of meritorious sports person can be made to any post in the group c cadder frsr appendix 2 2a uh, 2a 1 2a a and uh, dopt order 3 10 2013 how many days of uh, joining time is admissible if a government servant is transferred from uh, uh, x station to y station if the distance is triple uh, nine kilometers it is 10 days uh, as per CCS joining time rule 12 and uh, less than 100,000 kilometers is 10 days above 1000 it is 12 days and 2000 2, kilometers it is 15 days withdrawal from NPS is not allowed for which of the following cause it is for uh, for foreign travel it is not allowed for the remaining things it is allowed as per PFRD regulations 2015 NXR1 rule uh, appendix 13 of NPS FHB volume 1 also 
what is the power of hoc to write off the irrecoverable loans and advances it is 10000 in each case rule 14c of schedule of financial powers of hoc in case of uh, death of the service uh, in case of death uh, death in service of employee who had completed one year uh, but died within five years of service death gratuity payable to the family will be six times the emoluments rule 451b of ccs pension rules 2021 the road establishment of uh, each line mail line uh, number of uh, gds mail carrier now employed to carry the or uh, to carry the mails uh, will depend on on the length of the mail line and weight of the mail ordinarily to be conveyed uh, both a and b are correct and uh, 544 of volume 4 road establishments and uh, rule 173 of uh, postal manual volume 8 also it is available and uh, what is the financial power of uh, divisional head for hiring accommodation for holding examinations it is up to 5000 in each case 3j of uh, schedule of uh, financial powers of divisional heads what is the financial power of a director of postal services having independent charge in case of petty local purchases of articles of stationery it is 75000 per annum as per 7b5 of schedule 2b uh, of independent directors in which of the following case hoc does not have have full financial powers it is purchase of stores and uh, proprietary nature 5 lakhs only generally so it is not full powers remaining things they are full powers hba arbitration cases and municipal taxes uh, 31 of federal uh, financial powers 2a okay in case of uh, qcbs uh, weightage of uh, technical parameters non financial parameters in no case should exceed it is 80% rule 192 of gfr a sanction of a, a provident fund advance will remain operative for a period of dash and should be deemed to have lapsed after this period unless it is specifically renewed it is 3 months as per 324 exception here you should understand this is exception of fhb volume 1 normally it is 1 year but for provident fund sanction it is 3 months so this is the exception so how do you like the video uh, If you have any doubts post it in the comment section subscribe to career post thank you